Hello. Ice here. Rogue Legacy 2. Uh, last time we beat the sixth boss and then met possibly the final boss. I don't think I want to challenge them immediately, especially not on this character, but like also if I had a reasonable character. Uh, this isn't where I wanted to come. Decided I actually want to change this to pirate. Due to a theory I've had about the storeroom. But for now, let's just uh, get this one hit wonder out done out of the way. Um, I guess I'll still head to the dry lake because whatever I manage to kill could drop a ton of gold. Like, I mean, with 350 extra percent gold, it's not like you get bad gold anywhere. But if we're gonna risk reward it, let's just go all in. Maybe I die immediately to the first enemy I see. And in that case, let's just get a normal character. I mean, like, that there was just as good as finding a chest in, uh, the Citadel. Defeat all enemies. Um... Why not? Yeah, because I die. <laughs> All right. <laughs> huh. Synesthesia, CIP. Those are fairly benign. Okay, won't be able to afford anything here. My maintenance cost is about what I made last time. Um, don't have... Oh, wait, I actually do have a lot of ore. Right, because I decided I wasn't interested in a lot of what I could potentially buy. Kind of want to reveal what the Ammonite set bonus is. I've already bought the helm. So the trinket and one more would give me that info. Hey, a stranger. Do you think I could open an account with the living safe too? Sometimes I find a coin here and there. Seems like a waste to just give it to Charon. Well, maybe I should just keep giving him whatever I find. It does kind of feel like I'm taking advantage of his generosity. Uh, let's see, any runes I want to buy? Just to get the gold spent? Sure. Sure. So wait, there are only two more runes in the game that I haven't bought a single copy of. Anyway, I believe the pirate also needs to do these scars, and it would be good to review this clue. False wall next to a banner in his workshop. Alright. Yeah, pirate needs to do both of these. I've already got so many points. I'm just going to turn the third empathy on. Make things a little easier. Might need to do it with one extra class, but if it saves me, like, overall an attempt on, like, two classes, then it's worth it. <laughs> Especially because I can just force classes that haven't done the challenges yet. Maybe that should have been a skip, just for points. Ow. Oh wait, I didn't get hit there. I think I wasted my double jump there. an awful low jump you did there, sir. Okay, it was dashing again. Oh wait, I responded to the jumping phase by... 
um, spin kicking. That was incorrect. Oh, he got me. That guy is not very good at pirate yet. It's like I've only been them once or twice. Ah, two of them. Although the whole counter resets if you take damage was putting a bit of a damper in its usefulness. More drums just gonna be a flat 18% all the time. Sure. like cannon way of using the main weapon at some point I'm not sure what attack against huh that was kind of interesting the um I might be able to do this faster than I can actually uh, get two separate attacks off with just the swing Maybe not. Alright, yeah. One more win like that, and we'll have gold in closed space. Also just gonna turn up the empathy here. Given my analysis on these relic choices, huh? Mostly I just don't want to spend too long on them. Huh, Ivy Roots consider me to be on the ground, even while just riding my thing. projectiles. I might not want them both on phase two at the same time. I guess I'm fine on health, I can just tank a few and... Man, I wonder if anyone's gathered 9 empathies and then lost. <laughs> With them all active, that is. Because that was just six there. You could have even more HP and damage bonus. I don't know, maybe, maybe an Astromancer would be reasonable to lose on. Alright, need like... Probably three more classes to do that. Oh, I should pick the next class. Let's make it Ranger. Because, uh... My theory about the storehouse 
is that maybe it's an interaction that really is directly to the right of the one sign. I've like kind of joked about like, what if they're exactly here? But uh, what if I do need a class that can make terrain? Just like for the empathy that was here. That's the current theory I'm working with. And then uh, if that doesn't work out, I'll just have to come up with another one. Oh. Must have died, well, partially in the wall since all the coins flew at me. Feel for pirate base health. I was just thinking like, okay, I've taken three hits. Now, how much health should that leave me with? The answer is nobody knows. Or at least uh, I don't. The swing is a little slower than I usually expect. Mildly difficult to hit enemies in the air with it. Ow. I guess if I'm looking for the storehouse, I should be looking for the tuning forks. under quite fast enough. Maybe there was just never room. Hey, food. More food. Okay, yeah, if I'm exactly here... Didn't find anything. Hmm. Mysterious. I guess if I can get to a warp. Not that I mind being here while I'm getting a hundred or almost double money. A uh, hundred ninety percent of normal money. I still need more lore from the uh, Sun Tower. That's what I was thinking about if I found a teleporter. if I am likely to survive this. Oh. Takes mana to cast spells. another room. This one 
one I think is more favorable for sniping enemies, though. Be wary of enemies spawning near me, though. I mean, just go over and fight him, right? It looked cool when the mushroom thing burst. Oh, that was how much health I had. <laughs> Alright. Another somewhat subpar run, but... I guess I didn't need to lock this in because the canopy thing didn't work out. Um, I think I might still need to do the scars with Ranger though. I wasn't even like thinking about that too hard, but I think I do. Um, more hit points, I guess. Were there affordable items near the docks? No. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay, I have the normal bow. I was like, wait a minute, I didn't think about that. Who am I? What is life and what is my purpose? Was I created or have I always existed? Wandering on this is difficult. I am a perfect being and how I came into existence matters not. Yes, that feels better. I can feel my disassociation being buried already. Good for you. Alright, yeah, zero points, zero points. We're making big scar progress. I expect my ivy canopy to count as being on the ground. Huh, the second copy of War Drum seems weaker than the first one. I thought it would be a bit more than that. I guess with the uh, ranged character, the damage aura is a little less good. Maybe should have gone for the extra ivy canopies. Yeah, just jump into stuff, whatever. Yeah, we're doing fair amounts of damage, in case you were wondering whether it was fair or not. that damage aura after all. Still got 21k? I mean, I bet even a mage or like a... I mean, Dragonlance, you're right. Didn't end up actually doing that. Potential to be the last one, right? Mm, sure. I think I'm very likely to get hit at like exactly the top of the room and then the canopy could be nice. I think the spin kicks deal more damage. This fight always involves a lot of spin kicks. As much as I'd prefer for it to involve standing on ivy canopies and shooting. Oh. 
<laughs> the one made from the aerial recovery. And then a genuine one. Okay, there's one extra high jump right at the end, it seems. Anyway, nice. I think I took like, yeah, I was gonna say two or three hits. Golden trophy awarded, all empathy is unlocked. So that gave me six empathies there. I should be able to start stacking up this one pretty fast if I actually find the workshop. I guess, is the workshop the room with the dragon? Or the room right near the storage room that I didn't properly investigate? Hmm. Anyway. Let's go for one more. Once more you journey together. Yes. So I guess if I'm looking for the boss room, it's usually the tuning fork room. Oh yeah, you need to hit the tuning forks first. I was gonna say at the far right. Oh. Oh boy, they're all to the right. Taken. Is, what is this class's passive, by the way? 10% extra strength and dex. I noticed, um, I was getting 5 healing from my lifesteal again. And for a lot of these recent runs, I was getting 4. So I was like, okay, what changed? I will take Comet Form over the IV Canopy. For a second I was like, why did I even use the reroll? I'm unlikely to swap. But uh, for comet form? Sure. No. I guess the damage isn't that good, but... Not taking it necessarily for enemies. Just wanted to get the tuning fork checked in case I was wrong about it usually being the one on the right. That seems awful. Huh. Oh, it's this one. Alright. Take the free ether. Again, let's just make sure. Okay, is there a banner anywhere around here? Is this a workshop? It's a storeroom. The entire thing is a storeroom. Just was looking at the stuff out here in case any of it seemed like what the storeroom sign had labeled as anything. Should have maybe taken some more cautious approach somehow. Oh, no, never mind. There was pizza. Run where they hand us all the food. Oh, yeah, 
let's go down. No, wait. Realizing there was no exit at the right end. if I crit those, so... Oh! Ah! Oh. Thought I could get my next shot off in time to, like, hang in the air long enough. That I couldn't. It's a, yeah. Okay. I mean, I could wait for comment form, but it seems quite unnecessary. take all the hits from the flame enemies. Alright, what's the relic? Is that Hyperion's? Ah! I was trying to jump so I wouldn't just land on the saw, or rather, dash into the saw. Wait, I can just do that. Yeah, that's Hyperion's ring. Without spore bursts, I can only hit one enemy at a time without using my spell. I mean, technically the talent can hit multiple enemies at a time, but come on. For how much damage is the question. Don't want to fight those enemies. somewhere? Is this not the workshop? A thousand cycles have passed since I was taken from the lands above. Foul estuary Irad and his lancers attacked at the end of my long rest. When I was at my weakest, no honor in their ways. Trickery is all they know. Okay. I guess maybe the workshop is the one at the bottom? I guess it did seem like a suspicious room. I just thought it was gonna be the, um... something. Uh, the... the 15% damage thing instead of the... Wow, just finding a ton of weird rooms. Hmm. 
I'm not seeing a banner. This is not a workshop. Interesting that this room didn't really become anything at any point, though. Because I could have just comet formed if I wanted to check that for secrets. Huh. Workshop. I guess... Was it necessarily Tubal's workshop? Gonna need to look at the scar hint again, I think. Let's get up to the Sun Tower for now. Try to keep working on that lore. Yeah, it, it occurs to me that, like, maybe defeating Tubal gave me... Um... Like, something about somebody that is not related to the Dry Lake. Could have been, like, Enix Workshop. What a strange room. When dealing with situations where you aren't constantly in combat, that like, uh, whatever it's called, um, soul tether? Pretty good relic. Because in any like new fight, it'll tend to be charged. Shot one of the things. Oh. Ow. Oh, hey. Projectile. Oh yeah, that gives me time to charge up Soul Tether. Even if the damage itself isn't impressive. I guess this is guaranteed to be Bladed Rose. Because I didn't end up finding the other one. But uh, at least we got a fairly good amount of ore. And I think also like cash rewards. Man, I have so much more confidence just like charging blindly into stuff with two du double jumps. Sometimes misplaced, as can be seen with that trap room, but 
I don't expect to like fall into anything as a result of just like dashing straight somewhere or dropping off camera. Or I mean like off of something that was on camera when I was, you know. I can take a blind fall, they call it. I don't need to see where I'm landing as much. Alright, lore discovered. 60 days since the rebellion. It has been weeks since I last slept. The insomnia is taking its toll. Spoke to Naus about it. I'm having trouble writing anything other than lists. Before I left, he tasked me with one last exercise. In your own words, tell me what it means to be an estuary. So tired. Even with a prompt, I'm having trouble thinking what to write. What is an estuary? An estuary is a soldier chosen by our blessed father, the immortal king, to enact his will. All souls belong to our king, and we give our lives gladly to extend his own. An estuary partakes of the king's flesh, becoming eternally bound to his will. To serve him is to serve ourselves. To become an estuary is to have the highest honor, for it is given only to the deserving, and I am most deserving. I have earned my place thrice over, once as his general for conquering the world above, again as his miracle for capturing the dragon, and once more as a leader for ruling the kingdom of Genesis. Benaus, you ask me what is an estuary? This is my answer. I am an estuary. Oh, how much more? Two more journals. Now that's it for the whole game, unless New Game Plus adds more or something. Is now what? Run kinda did what I wanted it to do. I guess gold? Everybody likes gold. Sure. Guess I'm about to use the Hyperion's ring. If I didn't, maybe I should be just challenging the boss again. Like if, if I don't use the ring that is. Oh wait, I also hit the other one thanks to Soul Tether. That's why I saw a life bar that wasn't empty. Okay, nice. The invincibility from taking a thing lasted long enough. Oh, uh... There wasn't a solid object between me and the enemy. Another of these. We'll get max empathy on Bladed Rose. Assuming I survive the experience here. Oh. After attack delay, or rather end lag, couldn't jump. I wonder why everyone's like blinking out lately. I feel like that's a new visual effect for dying. Anyway, 
anyway, Hyperion's ring is used up. So, but we did at least get the empathy improvement. I'm pretty close to the run just totally ending. I believe had used my double jumps. Or maybe maybe I just didn't hit the button soon enough. Right, I could have gathered the gold just with my whatever. I assume eventually I'll be able to stack rooms, and they'll probably be way more expensive on Red Aether. So, like, I don't mind collecting some. Not like I'm gonna turn down resources in this highly meta progress based game. I guess also I don't know for sure that I can't get any more runes right now. Like I could get a second copy of something maybe, unless it's like truly exclusive to New Game Plus. But how would you find that out conclusively? I could just be unlucky repeatedly. Hey, I think that's the first time I've succeeded at that one. I had a plan. Alright, um, search the study for Apple Room, I guess. And maybe just fill up health and try the boss. Like, I doubt I'll succeed this time, especially with Hyperion's ring down. But, like, practice is good. Also, I feel like the pizza cutter last time or just pizza launcher was a bad weapon for that fight because it deals its best damage when the enemy like sits in it and that boss does not sit Yeah, just stand directly above a planky. Why not? avoided the trap. Oh. Yeah, I like I like chests that give ore. May have been known to call them good chests. This 
not much purpose to doing this room, but... Not much need to avoid it. Oh right, I'm in the study now. I was like, how am I in the sun tower with only a 25% gold bonus? Well, because I'm not in the sun tower. That room just feels a little sun towery, you know? Okay, there are new directions to go from here. starting to be interested in just finding the apple room. I guess if that one... I was thinking I hadn't really looked at whether that chest up top was a mimic. But, uh, my soul tether would have probably hit it. As demonstrated. Oh, wait. Yeah. Straight into that. And we're kind of like casually doing a giant gold run. Or at least like a moderately big gold run. Giant is probably taking it a bit far. Okay, here's the room. Take this one, we'll try to heal up. Oh. If I had more resolve, Altaros's son would be highly tempting. Maybe it's worth it anyway, at the cost of a quarter of my health. Sure. I, I'm really tired of there being question marks on that one. in this room. Well, a lot less health to fill back in as a result of my choice. I guess I'm not that far from the entrance. But it does help if you go the right way. Start in the Citadel. There might be food right in the first room. There wasn't. There might have been. Wait, this is right up to the study again. Mm. This 
wait a minute. I need to remember the 40% heal. Oh yeah, that's definitely enough health. Let's just try it. Get some practice, maybe. You have what we don't, Traveler. A second chance. Don't let complacency weaken your resolve. I guess I could have explored all the way to the left end of the room, but there's probably nothing of interest. Clear the pizzas. Oh, hi. And trying to aim at him while he's off screen sure isn't working. They keep coming there. Of course, most resonant projectiles are homing. If you just keep dashing during that attack, it usually helps you avoid it. right away so it's not in the middle of another attack. jump while he's doing that attack. Ow. Yeah, you keep your dash more easily if you're on the ground. I think I baited him into doing it into the angled surface. Okay, do you have a phase two? I was right about you, Traveler. You are not like the king. Thank you for sparing me. I just shot him again after the fight was over. Uh, anyway, thank you for sparing me. I've seen your thoughts and I now know your intentions. The fruit is yours to do as you will. Speak to Charon to the west. Your journey home has been paid for in advance. Fruit of life. The immaculate white surface is marred by a thin black pip. I guess that's the poison that was stolen from... Uh, traitor defeated. Um, yeah, there was a poison that was stolen, you know, that was gonna be used on Irad. Oh, achievement unlocked. Progenitor and protege. My journey ends here, traveler. I made my choices long ago. It is time for me to accept the consequences. Okay. Well, hopefully, like, New Game Plus doesn't, like, make everything way harder, and then I won't be able to explore the places I want to explore. I believe there's some sort of, like, burden system, almost like, uh, Hades is heat. But anyway, let's talk to Charon. <laughs> Traveler, your passage has been paid for in advance, your destination already determined. The toll has been paid in advance. Return with Charon to the docks? Yes.
Yeah, the patch notes implied that about like half the game was like exclusive to New Game Plus. I guess we've seen a lot of the Scar challenges were locked behind it. Oh, this is the castle we've been building. Castle Hampson. Was that? I don't remember if that was the name of the castle in the first game. Anyway, let's uh, speed this up a little. It is neat, but... And this hallway could get really long, couldn't it? Or was that just like the most recent, like 10 or something? Right, but oh, that was a boss door. So the game is not beaten. Okay. There was a phase two, kind of. Brother, you have returned bearing gifts. Oh, it's Cain, of course. You have done what my children could not and brought the fruit of life. Too far have I divided myself, but with this I shall become whole once more. My tr children failed to tend the garden and in turn failed me. You have brought an end to their dissidence and will be rewarded. In honor of your duties, brother, you shall rule the kingdom of Genesis in their stead. Continue to tend to the garden, brother, and someday you too shall rule by my side. Brother. Betrayer. Okay, we're running. You're becoming more tree-like, much like, um... The sixth boss, whatever his name was. Tubal? T Tubal? Aim. Okay, you use some familiar attacks. Oh, those home. Oh. I totally misread the nature of that. Unless they all went inward? Ah, had one more second on my thing. Yeah, there's no reason to try to escape that. Hitbox on there felt a little generous. Ah. With the way it was walking forward, I felt like I had to go over, but... Wait, did it say just strength plus two there for rank six? Are the later ranks better? Or did I get two rank ups? Because I skipped. I'll just uh, check in with the, um, the guy in a bit. Hmm. get a reasonable amount of money. I could even get this. But I don't have more than one rank of this, so what's the point? Making this larger would have been nice. It doesn't even cost that much. Might have helped, especially if I have to fight both bosses in a row again. Although, I mean, if you don't, how would I... I guess I just go through the golden door and then maybe you don't fight uh, what's his name again. Uh, let's get five strength by just hitting the X button. <laughs> oh, five is just the most that it'll estimate at once. Oh, yeah, ranking up this would be good. I often get hit by dashing. Oh, super fluid. I didn't even, like, take notice that I had a trait. Literally any direction, not just the eight. Did you know that Estuary Lamek pioneered most of the fighting styles we use today? He mastered the sword, the axe, the spear, and so many more cool things. He's my hero. I bet he's a great guy. I mean, I've never met him, but someone who knows that much about combat can't be bad. Probably, yeah. Well, a lot of people want to talk. Especially... the pizza girl. Most people think that pillows are just for resting, but I use them for everything. I use them for sleeping, for propping, for sitting, for decor. I even use a flat pillow for running. Sometimes when I sit still for too long, my legs begin to feel restless. That's when I run on my pillows. It's great for when you need exercise, but don't actually want to go anywhere. Okay, I didn't have enough gold to get the dash room, but yeah, we have enough ether. 
Very close to all runes. We saw what happened, and we're here to help. Did you want to go back? Your king awaits. Return to Castle Hampson? Nah. Now it's only two exclamations. I think it was three before. Okay, so that's how you get back. I guess if I had actually purchased the dash rune instead of the other, having two dashes on a character with this trait would probably have been neat. Okay, so we can try to finish the game anytime. I would like to at least find this scar before going to New Game Plus. But where's... Okay, yeah, it is... Tubal... His workshop. But I... Which one's the workshop, though? Maybe it's a room that's not a tuning fork room? Seems a bit weird, if that's the case. Oh yeah, I'm done with closed space. I just need bladed rose. And I have all the empathies. I, I wanna see how many points I get if I win this. Let's, let's not bother with relics. you can turn off. I guess... I've kind of been, like, really lazy this fight, because I wanted to see if you could win with, like, not even trying, but that is gonna limit the score I get, even more than... I already limited it by taking as many... Okay. You know, as many empathies as I had. I guess at least the timer is good, because I had like 135% damage bonus or something. Yeah, it was still worth 20k. So, one more class. Let's make Ronin the last one. Ronin could be a fun run. Haven't played them in a bit. Oh yeah, I got souls, didn't I? Oh yeah, I killed a boss. Just keep unlocking classes? Or... Let's even these out. I have Runic Horizons plus two, but haven't seen a higher level rune. Unless, you know, what I've already acknowledged. Maybe some of the rune types are considered higher level than others. Yeah, let's get this. Anyway, it's been over an hour. That will be it for this part. The next part, probably just looking all throughout the dry lake see if I can like full clear it to try to find that workshop but uh see ya